Prepare to load the needle body by closing the needle driver handle. Advance the anchor exchange catheter until the anchor clicks onto the needle body and will not advance further. Press the blue button on the anchor exchange catheter and pull back approximately one centimeter to disengage from the anchor exchange catheter. Open the needle driver handle. Advance the tissue helix through the 2.8 millimeter scope channel. Push down on the blue knob to expose the helix. Advance the helix to target the appropriate tissue. Using forward pressure, turn tissue helix knob in the clockwise direction to capture tissue. To ensure a full thickness bite, maneuver scope left so that the helix is right of the needle guard. Pull tissue until it reaches the scope. Close the needle driver handle to pass the anchor and suture through tissue. Advance the anchor exchange catheter over the anchor until the locking mechanism engages. Without pressing the blue button, pull the anchor exchange catheter back to disengage the anchor from the needle body. Turn the tissue helix counterclockwise to release from the tissue and pull the blue knob to retract helix. Finally, open the needle driver handle. Repeat steps for additional full thickness suture placement. To prepare for cinching, extend the anchor exchange catheter approximately 3 cm past the end cap. Press the blue button and pull back on the anchor exchange to release the anchor. Remove the anchor exchange catheter from the 3.7 mm scope channel leaving the suture in place. To load the cinch, thread approximately 3 cm of the distal end of the suture through the gold suture loading loop. Pull the gold tab in line with the catheter until the suture has passed through the peak collar. While holding slight suture tension, insert the cinch into the 3.7 mm channel of the scope. Advance the cinch catheter until it extends approximately 3 cm past the overstitch end cap targeting the placement of the first bite. While holding the cinch catheter in place, apply tension to the suture with small increasing increments of force. Care should be taken not to pull the suture too tight, resulting in breakage. Once the desired amount of tension is reached, open the cinch handle with the palm facing down. This will release the safety mechanism. Deploying the cinch is completed in three stages. Stage 1. Squeeze the cinch handle with one hand to pull the peak plug into the collar and lock the suture. Stage 2 of deploying the cinch will require two hands. Continue to squeeze the cinch handle to advance the beaded rod through the peak plug. Finally, continue to squeeze the handle to activate the suture cutter and release the peak collar and plug. Remove the cinch and suture from the scope channel.